Hey gamers, the Deutsche Spiele Prix, or the German Game Prize, that gets awarded every year at Essen, the, has just had the finalists announced and all of the runner-ups. So why don't we take a look at the games and see who is in the running. In 10th place is Nucleum. I haven't played this one. I've seen it around. Uh, but you want this one is designed by Board and Dice. I do like their games. So this probably is a pretty good one. The It is very heavy Euro looking for that. Uh, as you can see, it's actually got a weight complexity of 4.12, which is very high. So this one got 10th place. In ninth place is Keep the Heroes Out. This is a very light game for one to four players from Bruth Games. I've never heard of them, never heard of this game, so no idea. In eighth place is Obsession. I haven't had a chance to play this, but I have seen many people play it. People love it. Uh, it says it's a complexity of 3.1. Um, I think it might be a little bit higher than that because it's kind of why I've not really gone in to play it. Uh, but in this game, you are renovating an estate to manage servants and pursue romance in Victorian England. Uh, I believe it's kind of like Downton Abbey, kind of the board game was the, the idea there. On to seventh is Harmonies. Never heard of this one either does look pretty though uh so i might want to give that a check out complexity of 1.9 that's really small and simple so that's probably a nice uh quick game might be a little bit too uh light for my liking on to six is revive i have seen this around i have not had a chance to get a copy of it it does look a little busy and a little bit ugly uh so i probably won't add it to my collection but i do want to play it I do like a port of games. Um, the weight here is a relatively high, though. I thought this was a more of a lighter weight game, um, but I guess it turns out it's more heavy. Now on to sixth place is Too Many Bones. This is actually an older game, um, but I guess because of all the expansions that have been coming out, it's uh, been nominated for the German uh, game prize. This it says it's a weight of four. Honestly, it's not that hard. It's a really cool battle game with the amazing chip theory uh, components that come with that. Highly recommend uh, this game uh, to give you a check out on that one. Fourth, I've lost count, is Darwin's Journey. Not to be confused with In the Footsteps of Darwin, um, that was actually nominated for the Spiel des Jahres. This is by Thundergriff Games. They are also uh, a great publisher uh, that I have uh, enjoyed in the past. Uh, in this game, you're kind of recreating the life of Darwin, uh, traveling the world and doing research. Uh, I definitely want to give this one a check out. Now we're on to the top three. So these ones haven't been announced. The winner of these three will be announced at the uh, Spiel Essen, uh, Essen Spiel. Uh, and so first up is Sky Team. I have not played this one, but this one did win the Spiel de Jar this year, so it might take in the German prize. Now it, it should be noted that the German prize is actually voted on by gamers or gamers. So it tends to be the games that are a little bit more weighty, and this is a much lighter game. Forest Shuffle is uh, here from Lookout Games, another popular publisher. Haven't got a chance to play this one either. I have no idea what it's about either. Uh, however, the one that I think is the contender to win is the White Castle. I really liked this game. It's actually a really small box, but it has an entire Euro game inside of it, which is really cool. This is produced by uh, Dever with a weight complexity of three out of five. I definitely agree with that. And uh, it's really cool. There's these actual little boats, not boats, sorry, bridges that came with this. And it's a, a dice kind of lot tile and placement game. Uh, look out for a review on that one soon. Anyways, that's it for the German game, game prize. We will hopefully find out at Essen who wins this.